Good morning, home builders. It is Monday. I am feeling it, and you might be as well. Uh, today we are in day 71, teaching Jesus. And Luke 2, 39 through 40, it says, And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Interesting to think about raising the child, Jesus. Uh, think about the um, what this required of their life. They were going to down to Bethlehem to have a child. Most people would have probably just gone back to their homeland, uh, back to Nazareth, and they would have started their family together. But that's not what happened. Uh, they were then told to flee because of Herod down to Egypt, where they stayed for a while. They were in Bethlehem for quite a period of time. Then they stayed down there, and then finally from Egypt all the way up to Nazareth. That's quite a trip. And they finally start their life together in the city of Nazareth. And then they had to be the example that Jesus needed. Now, Jesus was sinless. He was God, but they were still supposed to train him up and to uh, and to raise him uh, to know right from wrong, even though he knew uh, knew what that was. Very interesting thoughts there, and we won't have time to delve into that today. But as parents, as we have, uh, as Christian parents, we have our child is born. Our child is not innocent. Our child comes with a sin nature. And although they look like little angelic beings when they're asleep, <laughs> they are not when they are awake. Uh, they are little sinners, just like we're sinners. And they need that example of uh, what is right and what is wrong. They need help in maturing and showing what uh, is needed for, for that to occur. You know, where. Uh, he mentions in here Romans eight twenty nine, where it talks about uh, being conformed to the image of his son. That's exactly as Christians. That's what God does in our life. And that's what we need our, uh, to teach in our own child's life, too. Uh, he gives us the responsibility uh, to be part of that maturing process for them. So let's be in a good example. Uh, today's parenting principle, the best thing we can give our child is a solid foundation of biblical truth and a belief in God. If we never give them that foundation of a biblical truth, there's no way they're going to know uh, the difference between right and wrong. There's no way they're going to know that uh, God sent his son to die for them. So all of this is very important. It sets the course for the remainder of their life and uh, the decisions they'll make, the people that they will date, the, the one that they will marry. Uh, on and on it goes. Uh, maybe even what career they go into. We don't know. So encourage you today, be that biblical foundation. Uh, do not just Sunday or Wednesday through your life. Just be that biblical foundation. Uh, share scripture together when you're eating. Uh, have a time together. I'm not saying you have to sit down for long periods of time. Just talk about the day at, during dinner and go over what happened, what, what things they can learn from those. And you can do that in a very casual way to where it doesn't look like you're being their teacher, but their parent, and you'll love them. So you guys have a great day. Love you guys, and if we can be of help to you, please let us know. Talk to you later. Bye.